problems we're looking at climate change and all the money that's spent on space is actually spent down on Earth in, uh, in terms of jobs for people. So uh, really it's, uh, it's all benefits for planet Earth. Over. And as I think that probably would be, you know, from up here you realise just how fragile the Earth is um, and that atmosphere is extremely thin. We really need to work together to look after the planet. Over. Hi, Karis. I feel like I've been preparing for space uh, since I was a teenager. Everything I've done uh, in all of my, my jobs has really helped me and prepared me for, for this mission. Over. Hi, Jacob. Well, for me, it was the pinnacle of our flying career. Being a test pilot, you push boundaries, you explore new things. And to go into space to explore new frontiers and to be at the cutting edge of technology for me was just the height of my professional career. Over. Hello, Nessie. Do you know I haven't seen any with the naked eye, but when I've gone back and looked at some of my time lapse photographs, I can easily see lots of uh, satellites on my time lapse photographs, but not notice them with the naked eye. Over. Hi Emily, that's a great question, and yes, it would do, but I weigh only 70 kilograms, the space station weighs 400 tons, so I won't make much of an impact. Over. Hi Luke, well NASA uh, doesn't really have a one-way planned mission to Mars, they're the more commercial companies doing that. NASA wants to go there and return their astronauts uh, to Earth, um, uh, which I think is what we should be striving for, to actually explore Mars, but always have an option to come home. Over. Hi Francesca, great question. Uh, not really, but what you can feel it do is do a reboot. And the other day, uh, I floated about five seconds before the reboot and watched myself drift backwards through the space station as the space station was boosted forwards. Over. Hi Seema, well, uh, you mentioned exercise, the only other thing we can really do is eat well, so we try and look after our nutrition up here as well, and try and prevent any of the negative effects of microgravity. Over. Hi Jack, I don't think we've got time to go into Einstein's uh, equations, but uh, the, the answer really is yes, by fraction of a second, I'll be a little bit younger when I come home due to the fact we've traveled so far. Over.